and sit down. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, this is a video I'm going to do about new comics that are coming out this week. Actually, a new comic book, because I'm just going to be talking about one. Uh, as you saw uh, on the, the thumbnail image, I'm talking about Robin's number one. Now, I love when new comic books come out. I still go to the store on Wednesdays. I have that excitement like a little kid. Ooh, what new comics came out and stuff. And... Uh, I thought I would talk about uh, this, Robin's number one. I mean, look at this cut. It's written by Tim Seeley. Uh, the artwork I'll get to because the last, the, the, on the cover, they only give the last name. So Rivas. But I see this cover and I'm like, that's a pretty badass cover. So uh, from what I understand, this book is about all the Robins. It's a mini series. You've got Damien. Uh, Damian Wayne, uh, Dick Grayson, uh, Tim Drake, uh, Jason Todd, and whoever else. Uh, let's see. The five heroes to have donned the Robin cape and mask find themselves at a crossroads in their lives. Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, Tim Drake, Stephanie Brown, Damian Wayne come together to discuss the big thing that binds them together. Was being Robin and Batman sidekick the best choice they could have made? But before they can get to the heart of the matter, they're ambushed by an unknown assailant with a bone to pick with them. She claims to have been the first Robin, and she's out to prove Batman should have never trained any of them. Ooh, so she claims to have been the first Robin. Ooh, what's that all about? Uh, so let's look at this preview. So there's the cover. That's awesome. I'm like, wow, that got me. And then I scroll down. Oh, so the art is by uh, Baldemar Rivas. And then I scroll down and go, whoa, what is this? Now, look, guys, is this the ultimate soy cover you've ever seen? Hello, look at me. I'm in the corner of a boxing ring and I'm looking at my opponent. And I'm thinking, bring it. Let's get this fight on, pow, pow, beat me up and call me Dick. <laughs> or is this Tim Drake? I don't even know. Is this Dick Grayson? Is this Tim Drake? Is this Jason Todd? I got no idea. Uh, it's just a boy toy on the cover. Um, I, I don't get it. I mean, this is, what, what are they, who are they selling this book to? is my question because comic book covers are supposed to entice you to pick up the book, you know, and, 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 or, and I get pinup covers because this is a pinup cover. That's what it is. You know, the first cover scroll back up real fast. You know, it's not really a story cover because it tells you nothing about the story be besides the fact that the five Robins are, are starring in this book, but it's a cool image. They're jumping down. It looks like some city in the background. That's cool. It would actually make a nice poster. This tells me nothing. I mean, it's a variant cover, so uh, that's good that it's a variant. Um, I'm not thinking this cover is going to be the one that sells a lot. Uh, and I know, I know what you're saying. Oh, oh, Andy, what about all the female pinup covers they do? I mean, look at Dynamite and they do all the variants for Red Sonja and Vampirella. Uh, yeah, because here's the thing. Red Sonja and Vampirella, when they do their variant pinup covers, they're in their costumes. Red Sonja is in her barely there chain mail that she's had for 40 years. 
Vamp Brella's in her little red uh, one piece that she's had for 40 or 50 years. Uh, whatever Robin this is, because I honestly don't know. I don't know if this is Jason Todd without the helmet. I don't know if it's Dick Grayson. I don't know if it's Tim Drake. I do know it's not Damien because Damien isn't that old. So I don't even know what Robin this is we're looking at, but he usually wears a costume on the cover. So, you know, and he's in a boxing ring. So I'm like, well, if you're in a boxing ring uh, and and it's like in between rounds, you know, I don't know. I mean, maybe have him beat up a little bit, maybe have him with a better emotion on his face instead of this sly smirk, like, I can't wait for that bell to ring, and we get back in the ring with everybody. Yay! Uh, so I actually, uh, I kind of stopped here and didn't really look anymore. So I actually uh, took it upon myself to uh, fix this cover. Like the title of the video says, uh, DC, you need an art director. You had a great art director in Mark Chiarello, uh, but you let him go. Big dumb move there. Um, you kind of need an art director, and uh, I'm here to help you out. So let's see. Uh, here's one thing I did to the cover. If you want to go with the cover the way it is in the art, uh, here, this works, I think, for the cover. Um, you could actually get uh, DC. Here's a marketing tip. You should actually uh, license this cover out, no pun intended, to Out Magazine. And uh, I bet with that cross promotion, uh, Out Magazine sales might go up because see, Out Magazine targets a certain audience. DC Comics wants to target uh, audience for comic books, and most comic book readers are uh, are guys uh, starting anywhere from early teens, you know, ten year olds maybe, all the way up to my age and above, and. Uh, I'm willing to bet if you did a poll, oh, no pun intended there either. If you did a poll, uh, 80, 90% of the people that you that buy comic books would be like, yeah, that cover is going to sit on the rack. Now, it's not badly drawn. I don't know who drew this cover. It's a nicely drawn cover. It has an anime style to it in the face and whatnot. So it's not badly drawn. But, you know, I thought to myself, what if... Uh, what if we uh, uh, just adjusted the cover a little bit? So I did my take on it. Uh, there's my take on the same cover. I, uh, you know, he's in a boxing ring. So let's give him a little damage there. Look at that. Oh, he's, uh, he, he, he looks now tougher. He's like, that's right. I'm Dick Grayson or uh, Jason Todd or Tim Drake. I don't know which one I am, but. If you're going to throw me in a boxing ring, I'm here to kick some ass. So here we go. He looks a little tougher. And the other thing I did too is, see, boxers uh, wear higher waistbands because you're not allowed to punch below the belt in boxing. So you've seen probably cartoons where the nerdy guy will get in a boxing ring and jack his waistband all the way up to like his armpits because you're not allowed to hit below that. So I pulled his waistband up. Uh, his his shorts should be a little longer. I didn't feel like adjusting those because he's sitting down so they could be riding up. But I look at this and I go, uh, that's a pretty, pretty cool cover. You know, Robbins. I look at this and I go, oh, damn, who's he getting into a fight with? Who could be kicking his ass? Or whose ass is he kicking? Is what I think when I see this cover. And uh, like I said, when I see... Uh, the actual cover, that's what I think. So, uh, DC, I'm here for you. Uh, I will freelance my services out to you as a uh, cover art director. And uh, there you have it, guys. Uh, you're, you're marketing to guys mostly. Yeah, I know women buy comics, but I, I think the women I talk to like tough guys. This is a tough guy. So there you go, DC Comics. If you... Uh, if you want to hire out an art director, uh, I'm your man. Um, let's take a quick look at some of the actual inside art to this book. Uh, you know, it's got, it's got kind of a cartoonier feel from what I can see so far. Kind of a manga feel. 
doesn't bother me. I like the colors and stuff. Looks kind of cool. You know, you got a nice big shot here of uh, introducing Nightwing. So that's cool. He's going into action. That's very cool. So, I mean, the interior art, you know, doesn't look too bad. Uh, am I going to pick the book up? Nah, I don't think so. Um, as much as the art's not bad, it's still not my cup of tea when it comes to uh, what I like in comic book art. But uh, that cover's got to go, yo. Um, but, you know, if you want to buy a book that uh, is no soy, no uh, has no soy, is pure hardcore uh, protein, you're going to want to get First Man Volume 2, Learning Curve, from me. Co-written by my buddy Rob Snyder. I'm showing the Volume 2 right here. Uh, don't worry. You're like, what about Volume 1? A lot of people back Volume 1, but if you didn't, you can get Volume 1 and 2 as a package together. The link is in the description below. And if you're a fan of my art, been in the business for 30 years, you can get The Art of Andy Smith, The Black Book, Art of Andy Smith, 112-page hardcover. There's a tier for that as well, or you can get it as an add-on. It's kind of a retrospective of my career. So there you go. And if you're a fashionable type, you can get a First Man t-shirt. You're walking towards somebody. They're like, whoa, look at that beautiful 10-color print on that high-quality shirt. And as you walk away, they'll turn around because you'll turn heads. And they'll be like, whoa, penumbra on the back. So check that out. Please go back my campaign. I'm working on the book every day feverishly for you guys. Uh, I'm here for you. I thank you all that have supported my projects and my book. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody. Luke Henry, after kicking Monarch's ass to the depths of space, is back on Earth. And now he's looking to save the world from the Fourth World Foundation. Sure, he had help from a number before, but she's not helping him this time. He's got to face it on his own. Look at these four people. He's coming for a villain known as Adonis. He'll do it. You'll be there. Back it now. First Man 2. Learning. Her.